Short Sword is so annoying now. With their new Throw Shield Seasonal Rune, the cooldown on it gets reduced to only 3 seconds and its range is increased by 40%. You do get your slow effect reduced to only 20% down for 50%, but that doesn't really matter. In dueling situations with this low cooldown, it basically feels like it's almost always off cooldown, and combined with the charge ability, you can stick on enemies and it's almost impossible for them to escape. The other use case for this is in big team fights. After you use your ultimate ability, you can kind of just sit in the back like I'm showing here and keep throwing your shield out, and you're basically supporting your team by applying the slow effect and slightly dazing enemies for a few seconds while you're using this ability. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but you run no risk of dying, and you can just sit in the back and throw this over and over again, so the damage will tick up over time. So try this build out, let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the rest of this video, I'm going to show off the seasonal runes that I'm talking about here, and then show off some gameplay of this build. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so as far as my stats and the runes go, let's go over those two things. So to start with my stats here, I'm going 80% into strength and 20% into agility for the extra slashing armor penetration. So I'm basically going for a glass cannon damage focus build that's really good at dueling and staying in the back lines and throwing the shield out. So it's definitely not a frontline build if you do this, it's more of a glass cannon build focused on dueling. So I find it pretty fun for that, but obviously you're going to die very quickly if you try to go on the front lines with this build like you normally could as short sword. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm not sure if this is the best stat distribution, but I've been enjoying it just for doing a lot of damage. Going mainly into strength scales your throw shield ability, which is really the crux of this build here. So you want your throw shield ability, obviously you want shielded charge to catch enemies in duels, and then I still use thunderstruck for team fights and then iron sides to not die with how low your health is going to be and how low your armor is going to be with this build. So that's what I do as far as my stats and skills go for this build. As far as the seasonal runes, the main one you're going to want obviously is the level 10 discus thrower. This is the main one that improves your throw shield ability. So this is what makes your cooldown effectively instant at only 3 seconds. It also increases the range quite a bit by 40%. It does reduce the slow effect to only 20% down from 50%, but I think that's well worth the trade off for what you're getting here. So that's really the crux of this build. Just uh, honorable mention here, the other two runes the other two new runes that Short Sword is getting this season is the Spartan Resolve is the main one to call out. So this will grant immunity to both Thunderstruck or Centurion's Battle Drill, whichever ultimate you pick here. I think this is going to help a lot for any Short Sword build really, because it basically means whichever one of those you use, you're not going to be able to get stunned out of those as you normally could during a team fight. I've gotten stunned out of my Thunderstruck a lot in big blob fights, so that will help a lot there, but it also might make Centurion's Battle Drill able to be used, whereas before it was basically never used because you could get stunned out of it pretty easily and it lasts a long time. So I have similar thoughts on this as I do about the new Glaive immunity in relation to the Glaive's Hail of Storm, or I think Hail of Hailstorm or Hail of Blades ultimate ability. If you want to check out my thoughts there, check out this video linked above in the annotation or below in the description of this video. Yeah, that's really the runes and stat points I use, so let's go hop into some gameplay now. Alright, let's jump into some gameplay here on Reginopolis, and it looks like we have a bunch of enemies coming through the tunnel here, so we're gonna see if we can stop these guys. I'm gonna bring my Prefecture Garbman over. Let's see if we can't get stuck in here. This is a nice narrow passageway to, ch to use my throw shield ability here see how we can do with it. I'm gonna charge my guys in. Alright, we're gonna looks like we're gonna be in a little stalemate here potentially. So this is a nice actually really cool use case for throw shield. I can just throw it down this whole hallway basically. We pick this guy off in the back here. Looks like we're slowly pushing through here. Alright, now you can now you're able to see this throw shield cooldown and how crazy it is. Okay, well, not, not on that guy, but on this guy I can definitely use it here. Looks like he's not even really paying attention. I don't know what this guy was thinking charging in. He's gonna get taken care of pretty quickly here. Alright, I don't think we're gonna be able to catch that guy unfortunately, but that's okay. Cleaned up a lot of guys there. So let's head back out of this tunnel and see where the enemy is now. But yeah, you can kind of see the use cases for this throw shield ability being on really low cooldown like that. It feels like it's basically always off cooldown, so you can just kind of go around throwing it, and it's really good in situations like that where it's a bunch of grouped up enemies all in a line, because it's going to hit all of them on the way there and on the way coming back. 
Um, I probably shouldn't have gone this way, I guess. <laughs> Just ran into the door. All right, let me go back out this other way here. See if we can go take back our supply. Seems like they need some help over there. You want to find the duels with this build if you can. You don't really want to be getting the front lines too much. But it's really good at cleaning up enemies. Like This is a pretty good situation for it, actually. Oh, alright. Um, what was that? Oh, they shot me with the uh, Great Bomber back there. I didn't think they were going to shoot that, because their allies were there, but I guess they uh, took the risk there. But we'll be back shortly. That was, that was unfortunate. We should have expected that, but, you know, I guess they were willing to sacrifice their own units for that. Alright, let's get back into the action here. I'm going to pull out... What do we want? Maybe iron caps could be fun with this. I'm thinking if I can slow him down enough with my ability and then get their charge on him. I have the fully mastered iron caps, so their charge should do a lot of damage here. Uh, I learned my lesson. I'm not going to go back over there <laughs> with those guys. Just going to heal up right here. Looks like they're going to be making another push here, so I'm going to prepare my guys for a charge, potentially. I don't want to go in if no allies... Okay. Oh, alright. After this trail ball, get my guys in. I just don't want to get taken out by that. Alright. Now I'll bring my guys in. Let's go ahead and charge them in here. See if we can get any kills. Just keep charging him. The Iron Caps, I have all the charge doctrines on them, so for me it's useful to just keep charging them in. But it looks like they have too much for us here, so I'm gonna have to back up. I'm just gonna go get a new unit. I don't think we're gonna be able to stop that push there. We're doing pretty good, I guess, though. 52 kills is not too bad for just starting the game off here. Winning that tunnel fight at the beginning really helps a lot. Let's take out uh, the Domain Spearman now. I've been using the Fully Mastered Domain Spearmen, and they've been pretty good, I would say. They are surprisingly tanky, and they still do a pretty good amount of damage, too. Looks like we might just be retreating to seat point, which is okay by me. I think it's... If we got pushed back that far, it's probably worth just regrouping here. I'll see if I can go harass with my shield ability, though. See what I can do here. We might be able to pick this guy off here. I don't want to get caught out by the Trebs here, but I do want to kill this guy if I can. So you can see even to short sword I do a decent amount of damage, since I'm basically full slashing and blunt damage here. I might put a cannon down here, just to annoy them. Yeah, put a cannon down right here. We probably should go stop him from taking our supply here. I'm gonna go maybe help with that here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I kinda wanna get one shot off though if I can. I'm not sure if they're gonna come up here or not. Alright, that's okay. This is a good spot for me to use my thirst shield ability though. That's where that immunity to <laughs> crowd control while you're in the ultimate would have been useful right there. You saw I got knocked out of the Thunderstruck at the last second. Alright, I'm just going to sit here and annoy them. Every time they come up here, I'm just going to hit them with the shield. So you can see it does around like 400 damage to a lot of troops, but from the back it does a little bit more. So... It's not, a, it's not like a crazy amount of damage, but you throw this three times in 10 seconds, I mean, you're starting to build up some damage. Some hits even hit for uh, 800 there, if you saw that, so... I mean, you're talking about throw this three times, throw this four times, you're getting around like 3,000 damage. That's not bad, honestly. I mean, you would kill archers with that even in the back line if they were back there. It's really annoying more than anything because I can just throw this out so often, and there's really like no risk to me pretty much from doing this, because it goes so far now. I do need to watch out for this guy from 
behind there. Get a couple of kills there. Yeah, I'll just keep annoying these guys. It's gonna be hard for them to push through while I'm doing this. That's kind of my goal here. Oh shoot, I did not see that guy. Try not to die here. If at all possible. I was not expecting that. I totally forgot that he could climb up back there. That was pretty smart of him, but didn't really work out for him because <laughs> his other the rest of his team didn't push, but if they had pushed, that would have been pretty bad for us. Okay, I might need to go stop these guys in the back line, but I kind of just want to help push these guys back. This is probably where I'm the most useful, so I think I'm just going to stay right here for now and keep hitting them. Looks like we're burning them. I'm going to actually push in here, I think. I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not, but I, I just want to do it. It looks like we are killing him here, so... Um, I don't want to go too far, though, so let me back up now. Got a pretty good amount of kills there. Seems like, for some reason, their guys are still charging up here. Alright, let's see. We retook the back supply, so I don't need to worry about that right now. Um... One guy up there. Yeah, it looks like they're still mainly trying to push from over here, so I'm just going to stay right here. I can't go too far, otherwise I will get hit by those land schnecks right there. So I'm just going to hang out here and keep throwing my shield at them every time they try to come up here. Looks like this guy wants to push out. I don't really feel like that's... Um, we might be able to, actually. I think they're... Um, I think we actually will be able to. There's not too many of them left over here. And they have a lot of ranged units and stuff too, so... I actually think we can... Just try to clean these guys up here. Clean this, get them all up real quick. Alright, looks like we've retaken the supply now, that's good. Looks like they might try to push in from the back over there now, so as soon as I'm done taking this, I'm going to let him heal up for a sec, and then I'll bring him back over here to defend from this side. Um, let's see, where's the best place to set up? I'm going to see how it's looking back here. Okay, yeah, I think we're just going to have to hide in here for now. I'm gonna put him um, like right here, I think. I wanna let him come in here. Uh, or, actually, I don't know if I do. Actually, I'm gonna set up right here. It's just kinda bad because they can treb this. But, um. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna move back. That is trebable, so I don't wanna stand there too long. The best case scenario for us is that they come through here, but. The bad thing about this is they can just, like, this guy is just cleaning up these guys that are retreating. So this is not an ideal scenario for us to be in, but I don't really recommend pushing out like this guy's doing. I don't think that's a very good idea. Alright, we ha I'm going to move up so that this guy can't kill our Zakali militia here. Try to stop him. Just clean that guy up so we can't kill these guys. Definitely want to protect those units for sure. Oh my gosh, those rattans just destroyed me here. I'm gonna have to hide for a sec. I am, okay, yeah, they're trying to treb, so let me move back for a second. Alright. Looks like they're not gonna push for a little bit. I'm not really sure what they're waiting for at this point. But I'm just gonna set up uh, right here again. I hope that wasn't a tread. I don't think it was. Yeah, I'm just going to try to protect our guys here. I think we're doing a pretty good job here of stopping them from getting through here. I am worried about another treb coming in, but if it happens, it happens at this point. I think it's more important to block this gap so they can't get through. Annoyingly, they have a mortar, it looks like. Okay, I'm going to have to go get a new unit now. I killed off most of my unit there. So I'm just going to put him on advance over there, try to get as many kills as I can. Get my halberdiers out here. Um, yeah, let's get the halberdiers out. 
We need to go plug that gap as soon as possible so they can't get in. So let's see if we can get over there before they're able to get in. I might have to charge in here, let's see. Yeah, let's charge in from the side, we might be able to get a few kills. Yeah, we did a pretty good amount of damage to those guys. Let's see if I can go get this guy. Oh man, the range is not quite enough there. I might still be able to get him. Yeah, it looks like we'll be able to get him here. Nice. Same with this guy. This guy is just AFKing now, I guess. I'm not even sure what this guy's doing. It's like one more hero. I'm gonna ignore my guys real quick and just make sure we pick up this last hero kills over here. We definitely want this supply. So I think it's worth uh, making sure we kill these guys off. Focus on the Nadachi first, and then pin this guy up. Alright, I did kind of let my Haberdiers die, unfortunately, because I wasn't paying attention, but it's... that's okay. Let's pull my shields out. Actually, if I pull my shields out right here, I'm definitely going to die, so I'm going to get out of here. I'm just going to have to go all the way in the back to get them, otherwise I'm going to lose them immediately. We are up on troops. I'm not really sure what our team's doing. I feel like we should not have lost C there. We've killed most of their team, but... I mean, we should be able to easily stop them. They only have seven, eight guys right now. So we have like double their hero count and 300 more troops. So... Shouldn't be much of an issue to clean the rest of this game up, I don't think. So let's go set up with this gate. It's like those guys are retreating, so I'm going to replace them here. This is kind of the best spot to set up on this map, is in this little corner here. I should, probably should have got artillery with me, but I forgot. Let's see, okay. Looks like they might be trying to go to the other side. I wonder if we can just kill this guy, pick him off. I don't want to get too far overextended here. Oh shoot, okay. This was maybe a mistake. I'm just going to get out of here before I die for doing this. Okay, let's see. Looks like, yeah, they're definitely going to push this other side, so I'm going to... First I'll clean up this guy, and then I'll go set up over there. Yeah, okay. Let's go set up... Maybe right here, actually. This might be a decent spot to help set up. You gotta watch out, I think they got a bunch of rattans over there, so I don't wanna get in this alley. But this is a pretty good spot to set up, it's gonna be hard for them to push past this here. In this scenario, I'm kinda just gonna hold back. If I go over there and try to harass them, I think I'm definitely gonna die from the poison damage. Because I'm just not very tanky, so... Just gonna be a bit of a waiting game here on the defense. Okay, I should maybe move back a little bit here. Yeah, I'm gonna move back just a slight amount. Might need to move back even more, I'm not totally sure. Yeah, they're hitting me with the Scorpio or something it looks like. So I'm going to move back even a little bit more here. Alright, looks like they're getting ready to push here. It would definitely help us if we had a few ranged units back here. The fact that we don't means we're not doing too much damage to those guys as they pop out, unfortunately. They've got a lot of artillery down, so we got to watch out for that. Now I can start hitting my shield on these guys, though. So I can kind of just sit here, keep throwing my shield out. Uh, I'm going to use my control immunity on these guys. Stop them from pushing here. can heal them up a little bit now as well. So yeah, I'm just going to try to help whittle these guys down. Kill anyone who comes forward too much. Oh man. Okay. I'm going to knock some of these guys down here. They're trying to push up now, so now is the time to kind of go all in on them. 
Unfortunately, I can't do much. I really want to look for the duels. I want to look for guys in the back line or just sit here and throw a shield on them. Okay, yeah, looks like we got one guy in here. Just take care of him real quick. He definitely went in a little too far there. <laughs> We've got a pretty good setup here, though. We got Harbardiers back here. Oh, we need to take care of this guy in the back lines. Yeah, so you kind of like frontline support and then backline cleanup duty. That's kind of what you want to do with this build. So it seems like we're pushing him back pretty well here. Um, pretty shortly here, I might actually go forward a little bit after I kill these guys back here. Just make sure I clean up this guy. Nice, got him. I'm gonna clean up these two guys. Um, let's see how many troops that. Yeah, I think we can. Um, I think now's the time to push up on them. They're almost out of troops here, so I'm gonna try to help my team push up on them now. They got a lot of ranged units left, so I think it's a decent time to start pushing up on them. Maybe I'll set up like right here, actually. Just make sure I still am in formation. I'm just trying to stop them from hitting my guys out of the formation here. Kind of hard to even tell what's going on at this point. Alright, I'm just going to take him out of formation. Clean this guy up. Alright, looks like we've basically completely pushed him out now. Now it's just time to do some cleanup. Do some cleanup work here. These guys look like they've almost given up on it. Should be able to clean him up pretty easily. There we go. 123 kills, not too shabby. Um, yeah, I don't really have any other units to take out, so I'm just going to stick with these shielded guys. Yeah, you can kind of see how this class plays. Like, you can kind of see there, it's, it's not maybe as exciting to you as playing on the front lines, but you just want to kind of set up shields or something, stay behind them, throw out your shield all the time, and if any of them try to get behind you, you can help your uh, chain dart and dual blades classes like that clean up any guys in the back line. So this is really good for dueling, frontline support, and backline uh, kills, backline cleanup. That's really what this build is all about. So it's kind of nice in that way. It's kind of like similar in some ways to Chain Dart, I guess, with Chain Dart's old throw ability. But I think the frontline ability is obviously better on um, short sword when you need it, and you also have that team fight ultimate. So that's um, a lot better than Chain Dart's ability to help in team fights. Um, but obviously you're going to be a little worse than Chain Dart at killing enemy heroes, but you know, you got to take the trade off there. Now we're just uh, being rude, just killing these guys out of their spawn. <laughs> Let's just see how much damage we can do now. Test the dueling capabilities of the class. I'm a little out of position here for sure, I'm going to die probably. If you get too far like this, you're probably going to die. You're, you're not, I don't know, actually I made it out. But you're still not super tanky, even though you are short sword with this build, so you just kind of have to be careful with your health pool. Like these ranged units are probably going to kill me unless I uh, back up here. But yeah, that kind of gives you a sense of what this build is all about. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this build, if you tried it out, if you like it. But otherwise, I'll see you guys out there on the battlefield. Thanks for watching.